This is Joseph Rosenbaum, genius prompt engineer and educator. Joseph created this incredible prompt called Synapse Labs that will forever change how you use ChatGPT. Joseph, can you explain to me like I'm five, what is this prompt and what is the magic about it? Yeah, so I'm super excited to share this with the world. First, I just got to introduce Professor Synapse. Uh, he's our AI avatar mascot over at Synaptic Labs. Joseph runs Synaptic Labs, and he's on a mission to make emerging technologies education equitable and also accessible to anybody in the world through resources and education. The idea behind this prompt is really to align with what the user wants and then auto-generate the perfect prompt expert for you to achieve that and walk you through the process. So how it works is in different stages, you'll see in the prompt. The first is we have Professor Synapse. I call him the, the conductor. And the first thing he does with you is just try to get an idea of like, what's the context of what you're trying to accomplish? What's your goal in this? And then that kind of automates the best practices with prompt engineering is getting that spe specificity in the context. Then after it has everything it needs, it generates something, what I call Synapse Chain of Reason, which is what the COR stands for, to just create the perfect agent for you. This idea came up with actually a fellow SynthMinder, Tyler, who's sort of developing the engine for SynthMinds. Joseph is also on our team at SynthMinds, and he designed a huge portion of AI and ChatGPT for everyone Corais course, where William Shields, my partner in crime on How to Talk to AI podcast, is going to be teaching. One of the challenges with all these new tools is one, which one do you pick? Mm -hmm. um, but then also like getting them to work together in a way that's logical is also difficult. We're building something that hopefully does this called an orchestrator. And yours truly is going to be helping students. This course is an extension of OpenAI course and is going to start right after it on August 21st. So you definitely don't want to miss that one. And you can use code GODAGO for 10% off. And I really hope I will see you there. So now you have your expert. You'll see it say like everything you want to do. It'll be like, hey, these are the steps you should take. These are the tools I have. Um, and then in the prompt, it's just the general instructions overall for the prompt we wanted to follow, which is like I just said, tell it what you need, create the agent, and then do the thing you're trying to do. Joseph could have very easily gatekept this prompt or sold it on prompt base, but instead he allowed me to share this with you. And this is just a tip of an iceberg what you're going to find in the course. The two parts that I'm like most excited to get into the hands of other people for testing are the last two sections of this prompt. One is the commands and the second is the rules. The commands are kind of like, we're probably too young for this, but Way back when, when there were text-based adventure games, right? You would type like your yes or no, or to the jungle, or to the mountains, or whatever. And it's the same idea here. For whatever reason, uh, ChatGPT is really good at just these pseudo-languages that kind of incorporate elements of coding and natural language. And so if you just do backslash whatever, and then you explain what that command is, now whenever you do backslash whatever that was, it'll just do the thing you asked it to do. The The two really that you need to know about are the start, uh, which is how you start your prompt, and then it'll just walk you through the process. And the second is save. This is a little bit of a cheat code. Uh, for those of you who don't know, ChatGPT has a context window. It starts forgetting what you're talking about after a certain number of words or, or tokens. Uh, and so all this does, it doesn't actually change anything, but what it does is it summarizes everything you've done so far, reminds you of what your goal is to make sure you're still aligned, and then it tells you maybe what your next step should be in the process. And this is just a good way of like throughout your conversation, you do save, and it'll just extend that context for what you're trying to achieve over a longer period of time. And the last part is the rules um, or constraints or criteria, whatever you want to call it. This too is super customizable. I only have a couple things in there now. Like I always want it to end with a question because that forces you to continue on. If it just ends with a statement, you're like, okay, what do I do next? And then the biggest piece of advice I have for this is really where things like switched for me is when 
Um, OpenAI recently released the custom instructions for ChatGPT, which I would highly recommend. And it's a way for you to kind of personalize a little bit, but all it really is is a system prompt, which for those of you who don't know, it's just that is a prompt that gets sent every time before the user input. And so similarly, this is what it does. So you set that up beforehand and it'll always start with that. So like I said, you just do backslash start and then it'll just take you through the process every time. You could make it so it's like, only if I say start, do it or whatever it might be, you can really have fun with it. You are giving this all for free and I'm so grateful. But this is also something part of your course. So my question to you is, what other jams we could expect in the course? Yeah, so we're really excited for this partnership uh, with CoRise and to deliver this course. Wes is going to do such a great job and I've had so much fun uh, putting this together. This freebie, I'm again, this the open source community when it comes to, to all the prompt engineering has been just fabulous. And so in the spirit of that, like, I want to give people the power to, to do great things with this. Um, but we have a lot of fun stuff that we're going to be going through uh, in this course. We're going to kind of take you from soup to nuts because the idea is anyone should be able to take this course and find value in it. So we'll start with some of the, you know, general, simple things to understand around AI literacy and taking the magic maybe out of this technology so you kind of understand how it works, even if you don't have an advanced degree or know how to write an algorithm. Uh, we'll go into large language models in general and prompt engineering, all the way from the basics to the advanced, to like the synapse chain of reasoning type of deal. Then we'll have a whole section on text to image prompting for tools that many of you have probably used like Dolly or Leonardo AI. And then throughout the entire uh, course, we'll be focusing on sort of the ethics and responsible use of AI. But in particular, we're excited to end with a prompt hacking challenge so people understand some of the security issues related to having a prompt and how to protect yourself uh, against those. So we're really excited to go through all that with people and bring everyone up to speed uh, in a way that is both based on research and accessible to anyone and everyone. Okay, but Joseph, at the core of your existence, you are an educator, first and foremost, and you're running citywide initiative to educate kids on engineering, technology, science, like basically STEMs. I was wondering to ask you, have you heard of Brilliant? So no joke, I actually have heard of Brilliant. And as a nerd who loves learning and teaching about STEM, especially in interactive ways, I have been eyeing it. This is so awesome to hear because I wanted to share this with you as well. Brilliant is a sponsor of this video. I took their new course on data visualizations, combined it with your prompt and code interpreter, and this was just mind-blowing. Brilliant is just fun interactive way of learning with thousands of lessons from basic to advanced topics like data analytics, AI, neural networks, programming algorithms, and much more. And new lessons are added monthly. If you want to stay up to date on the latest concepts behind world-changing technology right now, or you want to learn math or science fundamentals, Brilliant got you covered. To try everything what Brilliant has to offer free for full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash gotta go or click the link in the description box below. And Joseph, this one is for you. The first 200 of you are going to get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. What she meant to say is 199 because I'm grabbing a subscription for myself right now before these run out. And I want to show you how I applied what I learned in Brilliant, combined it with Joseph Prompt and used Code Interpreter. I tried 432 AI writing tools. It's a little bit crazy to go and test 432 AI writing tools but in this video, I share my crazy finds and also one thing that I found all of these tools have in common. 